the aim of controlled ovarian stimulation is to increase the number of mature eggs that's available for fertilization in IVF cycles. Okay? And we monitor the ovarian response to stimulation with serial ultrasound scans. During every ultrasound e examination, we, we evaluate the number of growing follicles as well as the size of individual follicles. And does size matter for a follicle? Actually, it does, as Rosen and colleagues have shown in the study. When they categorize follicles based on their size, as small as three millimeters, the likelihood of, likelihood of obtaining a mature egg from a follicle is two, twofold different between two consecutive categories. Okay. And I think that proves why we, we should accurately measure follicular sizes in, in stimulated cycles. Conventionally, the follicles are measured with real-time 2D ultrasound scan. Okay. And unfortunately, there are no standards regarding how to measure, measure the size of a follicle. According to, according to a survey done in England, while some sonographers would take only the long, single longest diameter, some people would take the mean of two, three, or even four diameters in one or more planes. And obviously, these methods may yield pretty different results. Okay. Beyond the lack of standardization, another problem is assuming that the diameter properly reflects the size of a follicle. Okay. However, for this to happen, the follicle should have a perfect spherical co conformation. Okay? The true measure of the size of a three-dimensional structure, such as a follicle, is its volume, not its, not its diameter. Okay? And most follicles, especially in case of multifollicular growth, are not spheres, but they're ellipsoids, as you can see in this image. Okay? And when we evaluate, evaluate the accuracy of 2D measurements, as expected, most studies have shown that they're inaccurate due to this you know, irregular follicular conformation.